In Shudo, they call it wakizashi. Wakizashi means pummeling. Now there's five plus more ways to pummel. You have head pummeling, you have neck pummeling, chest pummeling, bicep pummeling, wrist pummeling. Those are five basics. But this one is going to teach you how to pummel, chest pummel with our partner. And we can actually get really tired doing this. The first one is their legs do not move and they're just gonna chest pummel slowly. And they're just gonna go light. So they're getting the weave, the arm weave. Now when they're getting the arm weave, this is simple. This is just the swimming aspect. Pinky high, pinch that arm. Now number two is we're gonna grind it. So they're gonna continue. Now they're gonna go chest to chest hard. Now let's say we have a woman in class or a girl. She should go shoulder to shoulder. But if you get the guys, the guys should always go chest to chest and bounce each other's chest off each other. Okay, number three. Third part is we're gonna pummel and we're gonna switch our feet every time. So we're gonna speed, power with a foot change. Time. Number four. There's usually three, but we'll do four. Four is manipulation, lifting, spinning, controlling. So they're gonna go number three, and then they're gonna add the pull, the lift, the circle, that's it, keep going. Keep going, we're not hand fighting, we're chest pummeling. That's it, you can pull the lat, lift the elbow, pull the elbow down, lift the lat. One pinky high, one pinky low. That's it, sometimes body lock and lift. That's it, that's it, back and forth. Okay, now, in order to get out of the pummel, there's a few different things we're gonna do. Number one is I'm gonna clear, in order for me to get out of the pummel, as he pummels his arm in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna block this hard, and I'm gonna pinky high and shot put it. I'm out. So if we're here and he starts to pummel in, look at I stuff it, I look in the direction my pinky goes high, and I go here. The second thing I'll do, from right here, is as he starts to pummel in, I'm going to use a low arm, bong sal, pummel, and hip away. One more time. Good. And the third one is when I'm here, I'm going to shove his elbow to his hip. That's going to get me out. So anytime we start to pummel, look at, I shove his elbow, I'm out. So the three ways, as we pummel, this is for me to clear space to get out of the pummel. I want to strike, so I go here, pummel. One, two, three. Three ways to get out. Three ways to get into a throw from the pummel. Number one, as he starts to pummel in, he pummels, he pummels, he pummels, I lift and head up and duck. Okay. Slow motion, we, we pummel, that's it. Second way, I hip away and drag the shoulder. The third way is called a down block. Down block, drag, again, pummel, down block, drag. So it's real simple, as we're moving, I just practice all three. can also lean here and work my inside. Woo! Duck. So what he'll do is he'll go low on my, he'll butt out, put his head low on my elbow, and duck under my elbow and take a body lock. Duck under, head, head goes from the outside to the inside and the body lock. Oh! It's called an outside to inside duck. Sprawl, back, and now duck. Woo. That's a suplex. So that makes four. The elbow push. When you tie up 50-50 and you just try to back out, they're gonna hit a low cross and a high hook and that's gonna be a knockout. So if I, if I get here 50-50 and Tommy just backs up, look at, I, I go right here, he backs up. Low cross, high hook, bang. Okay, so every time I tie up and I wanna get out, he follows with a low cross and a high hook. That could also be a low cross and a head kick. Low cross and a head kick. Ooh. Okay, so 
Every time I tie up and I want to get out, I shove his elbow to his hip. Now he's going to hit a low cross high hook. Ready to go. Good luck. So as soon as we're here, we're tied up, he wants to follow me. As soon as I go like this, he's going to follow me and hit me. He's going to hit me. Go. That's it. Put the elbow to the hip. It stops him from following. Okay, when I tie people up, so if he jab crosses and I tie him up here, the first thing I'm going to do is when I get this tie up, it's going to be here. So I have the plumb, the plumb and the bicep, the straight plumb and bicep, or I go double bicep tie. These are the four basic tie ups. One, two, three, four. So anytime I get to here, the first thing I'm going to do to get to his back is I'm going to just drag him and get to his back. If you look, there's a wrist lock right here. So a lot of times from right here, I get in here, look, I drag and I get right to his back. And this is the wrist lock. If he gets his elbow free, I just shove him away. Okay, number two is I'm gonna duck. I wanna get to his back, so I'm gonna duck under. So the first duck under is I push this arm here, and then I duck here. Okay, the second one is I power clean and throw him over. So anytime I'm here, look, zoom. Third is I spin him. Okay, I snap him, I snap him, or I spin him. Snap, snap, spin, spin. If I can snap him, I'm immediately gonna go for this choke or this choke, it's a fast choke, figure four choke. If I neck crank, I immediately go for the gravit. So if I go here, look at how this comes across, I shove and I squeeze my elbows. If I go here, I squeeze and I lift. That's the neck crank. So when I go here, so I'm gonna go here, one, here, push, squeeze. Number two is I come across and I squeeze my elbows and start to lift. One is a choke and the other is a neck crank. Now, when I spin him, I want to get to his back. Just like this. Once I get to his back, I immediately short choke. Okay, slowly. I push, I push, and this is my short choke. 